Hello everyone. Welcome to the big giveaway. <laughs> At least I hope you think it's a big giveaway. It's a big giveaway for me, you know. Um, let me talk a little bit about how we got here uh, to this, what I'm calling big giveaway. Uh, I know if you saw the video that I posted a, uh, uh, a few weeks ago, I mentioned that I was going to be having a giveaway if I reach 5,000 people. And um, I've done that now. I'm at 5,200 people. Subscribers, I should say people, subscribers. And so I want to go ahead and do this. But let me just give you a little background before we go any further. When I started my channel three years ago, I remember telling my wife, boy, if I can get 100 people, I mean 1,000 people, I'm sorry, to watch one of my videos, I would be happy. And that's, that happened pretty soon. And then pretty soon the numbers started going up on, on, on the viewers. And after a while, I started getting subscribers. Now let me just say this at the outset here. Uh, three things I said I would never do with my channel when I started. One, I would never monetize it. And the reason I won't monetize it is because I hate commercials and there's no way I'm going to put you through something that I wouldn't want to go through. I, do, I don't, don't like those things popping up. I don't watch TV channels for that reason. Uh, and I know they're good. They, got, they pay for the product and that sort of thing, but I just don't like them. Um, the other two things I said I would do, I would never ask anyone to subscribe. You never hear me say that. Uh, and I would never ask anybody to ring the bell because I get tired of that. I'd be watching a video, please subscribe, ring the bell, please subscribe, ring the bell, please subscribe, ring the bell. I figure if you're going to like it, you're going to ring the bell and subscribe. If you don't like it, you won't. So there's no point in asking. So those are three things that you'll never see on this particular channel because I just don't want it. But as I said, you know, I started this three years ago. I'm now at 5,200 people. Uh, I have 90 videos. <laughs> you would have never thought. That I had nine, 90 videos. That's about 30 videos a year. And the only reason I'm doing that many is because of all the positive feedback I get from people, you know, saying that they like what I'm doing or the direction I'm going or, 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 or the things I'm taking on in terms of issues that I see out there uh, and things I'm trying to challenge in terms of things I see out there that I don't think that should offer everybody. Uh, and just to try to offer an alternative view on what's going on out there, especially in the PC world, in terms of two things that bother me. Uh, one of them is the prices, and I'm not saying I'm not saying the prices are not justified, but they're high. And the other one, in terms of these these large caliber things that are starting to happen, that are really scaring me, and I'm going to do more on that in, in the future. Um, so that's that's basically what my what my channel has been about. And uh, and so now that I am at five thousand, I want to try to reward you guys to show my appreciation for those of you who watch all the time, those of you who comment all the time, uh, and 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 to give out some shout outs to some of you guys that are. That are that are watching me from foreign lands. Some of you guys that are that are watching my channel, and you have your own channel, be it a very very successful channel or a smaller channel, uh, and just give some respect to that also. So, that is basically where we are uh, in terms of uh, in terms of how we got here and and why I'm giving this having this giveaway. And again, as I said, I call it the big giveaway, and I hope you think it's big. I think in terms of overall dollars. It's not going to be as large as some of those ones that give away guns and that sort of thing that I've seen given away. Uh, but in terms of number of items that are that that, that, that are possible for you guys to win, uh, in terms of the, the quality of them, I think they're going to be up. Uh, but let me talk a little bit about the things that I do have for you. First of all, uh, some of the things I uh, are my own personal things, and some of them are historic. For, uh, I'm calling them historic for this reason. There's some of the things I first started out with and did some of my first videos either on how to do or with in terms of the actual footage that I shot was from these items and I posted it. Uh, I've also got some used items for some friends of mine that are out there and there, um, there were actually three but I'm, um, one says don't even try to mention it. So the other one says you know they don't want their names but they didn't protest too much. So Tom I want to thank you very much for the items that you gave. And Bill, I want to thank you, and uh, and I know that you gave them. You've always been trying to push me to take you pesting with me, and I told you I can't do that. But if I get a new pesting permission, I promise I'm gonna make sure that I ask the farmer if I can bring you along for a few, and tell him that's gonna happen. And then that for that way you get into the house, and I will let you use one of my guns. Cause I know you're a powder burner, uh, but I think once you start shooting these guns, uh, you're gonna buy one, and I'll I'll steer you in the right direction. Anyway. Enough of that. Uh, this guy's been pushing me for a while to do that with me. Bill is a good guy, though. Um, and then other things are new. Um, 
I got some new scopes. I got some new. Uh, I won't get into it. Uh, I'm going to show you all these things. But uh, there was some. There was uh, uh, a couple of of, of 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 my sporting goods stores. I want to thank you very much. There was a couple of manufacturers out there. Well, at least one manufacturer out there. I want to thank you very much. And there was a couple of guys who have supported me throughout this whole time that I've been doing this in terms of my uh, P15s, especially. Uh, and uh, Darko, I want to thank you very much, and we'll be talking about Darko some more in, in a minute. And uh, Jake Bowman, I want to thank you very much for the things that they, these, both of these guys have contributed to this giveaway. And I think you're going to like the prizes that, they, that, they've, uh, that they're going to be giving you. So with that, let me quickly show you um, some of the things that we have gotten in. Um, we've gotten in over 20, uh, giveaway, 20, 20 things in this giveaway. You're only going to see about 17 here because three are not here yet, but they're on their way. And as soon as, as, soon as I get them, I will, be, uh, I will be adding those to that. But right now, let's go over to 20. But when I actually do the video showing you how to win, I will show you all 20 items that we have. And I'm hoping for a big item to come in. I've asked, I've asked the manufacturer to, 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 give, a, give, me, to be, give me the big giveaway. And uh, I'm not sure if they're going to do it or not. Uh, I don't think my channel is big enough to... To get what I asked for, but hey, you don't ask, you never know, right? But hopefully, hopefully, I'll get a portion of what I asked for, which will still be great for you guys as as as, as a win, I would think. So with that, let's take a look at the things I've gotten so far. All right, all right, let's go. Okay, let's take a quick look at the things that we have uh, for this giveaway, as well as a couple of things that are not here yet. Uh, I'm sure you can see them all, but I'll just do a quick overview. And uh, what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to do an in-depth on each one of these later on in the video. But right now, as you can see here, we've got some H&N Barracuda Hunter Extreme 177 Cal, uh, 400 pellets. Uh, so that would be 1,200 in all. Here we have an uh, item that is uh, donated by one of my friends. This is an, it's an Escape HD5. It's a 1080p uh, camera, uh, similar to a GoPro, but it's a cheap version of it. Then over here we have uh, a Bushdale, I think it's a Yardage Pro 400 rangefinder. Over here from one of my powder burning buddies. This He tells me this is a, uh, a red dot scope. I guess you guys know, might know what that is. I guess the red dot in it that you put on the target. Then down here is a laser. The uh, laser was off a pistol, but you can put it on a uh, dovetail. And uh, it shoots out a laser, and you can line this up with your pellet flow and use that as a target. I saw a guy using that once for ratting, and it was great. And we got five. Uh, started out with a couple, but now we have five giveaways uh, in the scope areas. Uh, we got three hammers. This is a six power. This is a three to nine. This is a three to nine. One is a 32 and one is a 40 millimeter. Each one of them got the AO in the front where you can, uh, you can the focus is up front. The next two are really nice. I like to, <laughs> I like to say uh, these DSAs are both side focus. Uh, they're, they're 40 millimeters and uh, these things here are great. Uh, I'll talk about those a little bit later on. Over on the other side, we have some items that I did videos on early in my video career, if you would, if you will. Uh, starting at the top, this is a this is a best tecker, uh, and this is uh, the first night vision camera I've ever had, um, and it comes with a IR light. Now this one is really really nice. This is a uh, camera and screen that goes on a gun. A lot of the guys in Europe, that's why I found out about this, in Europe we're using this. It's night vision and this thing here is wonderful and I'm telling you this thing here if you got any light at all you don't even need an illuminator but a small illuminator will really really, this thing is uh, it's, it's tops. And then down here we have the X-Lam uh, Casio. Uh, this was made famous by um, Ted and Matt that's what they were shooting uh, in some of their earlier videos and this is why they recommended this camera and why I bought it. This screen pops up 
and so you can actually put this screen in any location you want in order to uh, in order to shoot the gun and it, you can shoot from your lap you can shoot uh, any kind of way you want just by adjusting that screen to that, to that position this part here I added to it this slides over your scope and this thing here is wonderful I shot a lot of chipmunks with that and I think I did a review on that also on my channel now down here this is a uh, this is the thing that started it all this is a uh, the first thing I ever saw Ted shoot with um, if this slides over the scope tighten this down turn this look through your camera uh, you can adjust the clearance from your scope and and you actually look through the video and, and take the shot now here is the last thing now, I never used this one but I bought it this this has a, a hard drive built in but it will also take a um, memory card in the top so you can you can video both ways but this is this is a night camera a night shot by Sony I saw a guy using this uh, in Europe shooting rats with it and uh, it was some really clear videos and it comes with an illuminator and um, these two things here they work really really well short range I would say probably inside 30 yards uh, for ratting or shooting at night or whatever and you can do your video take the card out pop that into your computer and do your videos so those are the items that we have right now here but also we have two other uh, things that have been given away uh, two of my sponsors uh, the first one is Darko Delarco I hope I'm not blowing his name but anyway he makes magazines and magazine holders uh, for the P15 and for other guns and uh, if you looked at my video you saw that I um, I talked about those and how well they work and uh, anyway he's going to be giving out two free magazines as well as magazine holders to a winner and this will be for the P15 so in order to get this prize you should own a P15 and that's going to be one of the requirements the second one is uh, my buddy Jake Bowman and Jake Bowman he uh, has an operation called JB3D printing and what he does is he prints out the butt plate and uh, uh, the picatinnies and all of those different types of things again go back take a look at my video you know what I'm talking about but anyway he's going to be giving away a cheek a cheek piece and uh, he makes two butt plates he makes the one that I have but he also want to take, has one called a hook it's a very very nice one uh, and he's going to be giving that away to a winner okay we have 20 items I'm going to be listing those items in a, in, a, in a moment by a number. You need to write down the number of the items that you want. You get to choose four and four only. Now, in order to win, this is all you need to do. You need to send me a comment. Be very careful at this part. In the comment, do not comment. Don't say nice, wonderful, or anything like that. You'll put, you'll put, you'll put down one, three, five, seven. Those are the four items you want after. You'll put down, then put down your city, your state, and your zip code, and in, uh, uh, in cases where if you're out of the country, put down the country of origin that, that you wanted to go to. The reason I'm asking for this is so that I can then go to the post office and say how much would it cost to send this parcel to this particular place. From After I find that out, I'm going to come back and tell you that you've won this particular item. And the cost to get it to you is going to be this amount. If you agree with that, the item is then yours and we'll work out a way of getting um, of getting in contact with you and getting the address and all that and getting that to you. If you decline it because you, you may think, hey, I don't want to pay that much posted for that particular item and you, de you decline the item, that's fine. I'll give it to the next person in line for that particular item. So it's very, 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 very simple. Before we go on to show you items again, pick four items, give me your city, state, in zip code and country and you're in very that simple and if you win I'm going to do a comment back to you saying you won please give me an email address you give me an email address I email you we we'll work out the thing I put it in the mail and you got it it's that simple to win okay let's take a look at these things item by item so you know exactly what it is uh, uh, that you might want to go after and, uh, and write your numbers down accordingly Okay, let's go. Okay, the first item we have coming up is uh, coming from Darko Delarco. 
and uh, there should be a logo up on the screen right now to show you uh, the name of this company. But uh, Darko is going to be giving away two things, and uh, I'm not going to do a close-up of this because I've done some videos on it. He's going to be giving away two magazines and two magazine holders. And take a magazine holder out of my gun here. Uh, these magazines, if you look at the videos I've done on, on my two other guns, these things are so easy to load. But uh, what you're going to get here is you're going to get two magazines and two magazine holders from Darko. And this is number one. So make sure that you write down, uh, when you put down in, uh, the items that you're trying to win on the giveaway, make sure that you put down number one for Darko where you're going to get two magazine holders and two mags in the caliber that you want for a P-15. Uh, so if you don't own a P-15, you probably won't want to qualify for this. But this is item number one. And item number two is going to be coming from JB3D Printing. And there should be pop something popping up right there for you. You see his logo and where he's located. What you're going to be getting from him is the butt plate. This is the butt plate back here. And like I said, this is a must for me for this gun to just to be able to adjust it to the height I need for my face. He's going to be giving away not this butt plate, but the, but the hook, which is uh, entirely different. I really do like the hook. And uh, let me show you a picture of that right now. Okay, so you're going to be, for number two, you're looking for the hook, the hook butt plate along with a uh, cheek piece for this gun also. So he's giving away these two items. What's up next is a hammer scope. This scope is brand new, but it was mounted once, but not used very much. It is a, uh, tell you a little bit more about it. This scope here is a three to nine power scope. It's a 40 millimeter. The uh, it's a it's a O it's a AO scope, meaning that up front here you can actually um, you can actually focal. It's got a focal range from I think this focal range on this thing is from about seven yards all the way out to an infinity. That's item number three. The next item is the Bushnell Range Finder. This is a yardage pro. It's, uh, it's an older one, but I took it outside and I've tested it. Uh, this was donated by a friend, and it works perfectly. So this is item number four. Bushnell Yardage Pro Range Finder used. Okay, this next item is really, really a nice one. This is a night vision uh, camera setup. Um, and I'm telling you, I've, 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 I've tested this thing. This thing is great. This part of this slides over your scope. To the right distance, you take these, these screws here to tighten it down and get it centered. Then after that, you aim through here. And you can mount this thing here on top of your scope right here like that. And you just shoot. But one thing you're going to need with it is, the, is, is, is some batteries. I'm not going to send these batteries. This is an 18650 battery. I think they're three volts. And this, work, this operates off two of them. Hope you can see that this thing is really, really uh, nice. And it works day and night. It's for day and night vision. Turn it off on the side here. And this thing does not need much light. Uh, you might want to get a, a really, really small illuminator with it. Um, I got one with the other night vision stuff, but I didn't have one for this one. But this is, and this is item number five. Okay, item, item number six is going to be this best ticker. Uh, this was my, my night vision scope that I, my first one I ever used. This, this slides over your barrel. You have to put something in here to support it. You open up the, uh, the screen, turn it to night vision. As you can see, it's, it's on and working. Uh, but turn on the night vision, and you're ready to go. It comes with two batteries and a charger and a video hookup and a remote. I'm throwing in with this one a uh, IR illuminator. So that is number six. Okay, and the uh, in number seven we look at the we look at the night vision again. This was the second one I got. Uh, I got this right about the time I decided to go ahead and get an ATN. So I never really used it, but I'm gonna try to put. The, uh, I'm hoping that I can look up the video that this was used in. There was a guy over in England that I watched shooting with this, and uh, he was shooting rats with it at 20 yards, and this thing was putting out some very very good video. 
That's why I bought it on YouTube. So this is one of mine. And I'm giving with this one a nice illuminator because this thing needs a little bit of light. And this, this is a brighter illuminator than, the, than, than with the other one. And I think between that you're going to be able to get some good night vision off this. So that's number seven. Night vision, Sony Handycam. And I should say about this too that it has a built-in each hard drive, but I never used that the few times I did use it. I use the card at the top, so I take the card out, put it in, do my video recording that way. Okay, number eight is going to be a hammer scope again. Again, uh, this was mounted for a little while. This is a 3 to 9 power, but this is a 32 millimeter, whereas the other one we looked at was a, was a 40 millimeter, so a bigger objective up here. Again, it's got the front focusing on it. It doesn't have a lighted reticle, uh, but it's in excellent shape. I think it was used just a uh, I don't know, a few minutes probably. But that's number eight, is the hammer, hammers, I should say, scope. Okay, number nine, this was given to me by one of my powder burning friends, so, uh, and he explained to me how this thing works. And maybe you guys out there have seen something like this. I've I never seen anything like this. But this is for, actually, uh, being able to set the scope up immediately. What it does, it has these little I don't know, adapters that, that screw into the back of it for all calibers. It looks like it goes all the way up to, that looks like that's a, this is a 22, this is maybe a 25, that's probably a 30 caliber. But if you screw this into the back, you can, this can be adjusted up front, and it's already been adjusted for zero, I've been told. And basically, you, you slide this, put that on there, you slide this up in the barrel, turn this on this laser, I, I put it at the camera real quick, and uh, you basically, I put the laser behind me on something, I think. I guess you guys can see that. But uh, you put the laser back here on your target and, you, and, you, and uh, you, just, you set the scope to that. Like I said, this, is a, this one was donated, so I'm not exactly sure how it works. But I was told it was effective for like getting basically on paper really, really quickly. We're just going to say this is a laser uh, scope adjuster, number nine. Number 10 is a really, really nice setup. Again, the donation to me. These are mounts. And these are pretty expensive mounts from what I'm told. Uh, and I'm going to tell you what all you get with this. this is a, uh, I wish I'd have had this a while ago myself. So I want to say thanks to Tom. I know I said I was going to give you guys credit for this because you didn't want anything said. But Tom, I want to thank you for this and the other gift you gave. But let me see what you get with this. You get a, a one half. Now this would be for a springer. I'm told that this is a non-slide. It's got a screw in it. It locks down because that springer is a notorious for sliding scopes. Uh, this will uh, will stop that. I understand. And this is brand new. Then over here is one uh, that can change from uh, if you got a regular dovetail and you want to make it picatinny, you can make it picatinny, or you can just throw this away and take these off. These this is these are quick scope uh, mounts. You can pop this off, pop this off, pop it off, pop it off. And then down here, and then of course we got the regular, uh, and these again are 30 millimeter, 30 millimeter, a uh, half inch. And then also you have a balancing thing here. Uh, I'm told what you do with this, maybe you guys again know, you take this, you put it on top of your Picatinny, and that, you, that bubble in there, you take a look at that bubble, and you know when you're level. So, uh, like I said, that's, that's one I wish I'd had a while ago. Okay, and that's number 10, you guys. Okay, number 11 is going to be a, uh, this is used, but it's a laser, and shot up in there one time, but it's a laser uh, that, you, that you, I guess you mount it on top of the gun or in, underneath a pistol, and uh, the set screws for it are on the side here, and you said the same way you do a regular scope. And then this is a scope called a, it's an Inventive Technologies Starlight 2. And you turn it on here, and there's a red dot in there, and you put the red dot on the, on the target and shoot, I guess. And it's fully adjustable also uh, here and here by taking these tops off. So that's number 11. Okay, number 12 is a BSA Sweet 22 scope. 
and this scope here is, is um, a 8 to 32 power, so it's very, very powerful. Um, and here it's a, it's a side focus, so and it focuses from, seems to be from 10 yards out to 500 yards to infinity, so I guess this thing was made for a pretty powerful gun. I'm going to say it's, I'm going to say it's a 40 millimeter scope. I don't see it there. So that's number 12. Okay, this is item number 13. This is a new BSA Sweet 22 scope. It says it is uh, fully coated, of course, 3 to 9 power. It's got a 40 millimeter objective on it. Uh, it's focusable from 7.5 uh, feet all the way out to infinity. 7.5 feet is really, really good if you're shooting at things very, very close. Let me get this again. Very, very close because uh, a lot of these things, they won't focus inside 10 yards. And sometimes you have a very close shot. Um, and basically saying 100 yards at 14 feet, whatever that means. But this is a brand new scope. And again, this scope is side focused. Okay, this is one that was uh, donated by a friend of mine, Bill. Bill, I want to thank you for this and, uh, and the other one thing that you gave to this, uh, to this giveaway. Uh, this, this Sweet 22 here was mine. But uh, he happened to have one too, and he's uh, he likes to shoot his 22 pretty long distances and stuff. So this is a special scope uh, in that. Well, let's talk about this first. It's a three to nine power. It's a uh, 40 millimeter. It's uh, the parallax is uh, setting is from 7.5, which is very very close, all the way out to infinity. I'm trying to get this set down. All, all, all the way out to infinity, um, and a hundred yards at 14 feet. Uh, and it's scratch resistant and all that. But let me just show you this scope. Because this is a special little baby here. Okay. One thing with this scope that I really do like is that, with all my scopes, is that you're able to uh, focus it. It's side focus. From, as I said, from seven yards all the way out to infinity. But on the back, if you could, if you could see, I don't know if you can, but if you look at the back of this scope right here, you will see three levels. With this scope, what you can actually do is set this thing to your distances for different uh, bullets that you're using. And so if it's 100 yards, you put on 100 yards, 50 yards, so on, so on, so. Uh, so this is one I really would like to try to keep and, 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 and test myself, but it's going to be in the giveaway. BSA, is number 13, scope. Okay, for the next two prizes, I'm gonna, I brought my gun out to show you how they work. The first one is going to be the X-Lam camera. I just want to show you how these things mount. Uh, I shot this myself for before I got my first uh, 18 or any of other professional stuff. Uh, but this is the one that I said that Ted now made famous. What you do is this thing here slides over the back of your scope like this. And then you're going to have to probably put a little bit of support underneath here. I had a, just a little piece of a, a little piece of a styrofoam. This is not it, but something similar. So you can slide that underneath there. And then you put rubber bands or something around it to mount it down. Turn the camera on. And you gotta zoom it to the point where you can see uh, down the barrel and get it all straightened out. And uh, I can't really lift it here so you can see down that, but then you just take your shot. You take your shot from back here, looking through the camera. It's good for shooting from the knee and that sort of thing, because I said this thing flips up. And gets in any position you want, so you can actually sit down on your knee and hold it down here and look down there and, and take your shots and record everything that you're doing. Now, with this, what you're gonna get is you're gonna get uh, the charger, and uh, I use this thing quite a bit. So, and I would the battery power will go down. So you're gonna get three batteries with it, one that's in it, and two additional batteries plus the charger. And this is item number 14. There is another one that I want to bring back that I've already talked about to show you the same thing. This is a night vision. This is night vision we talked about earlier. This is number six. Same thing. This goes over there like that. Nice thing about this, the screen pops out on the side. And when it pops out on the side, you can twist it to whatever you want and take your night vision shots with it. But it slides over the same way. You put a support back here uh, for that. 
And also the Sony I talked about earlier, which is number seven. Same thing. Slides over here, put on a support. Um, and of course this pops out. This is what you're going to be shooting to. Put it on night mode or day mode if you want to record in the daytime. And take your shots with that. Okay, I've got the gun up here again because number 15, again, is a, going to be a uh, scope cam. Now this scope cam here is really simple to make and I'll, I'll put, a, put down here where I did a review of this on my channel. This was my personal one here. But what it consists of is a, uh, this is a Monota phone, smartphone. You get the smartphone with this uh, for item number 15, which is a phone that pops pops in here and then you take this pop this on here and now you guys have to put something here to keep it in place turn your phone on hit record and now you're shooting okay this is probably the cheapest thing for you guys out there that, uh, that want to post something quickly on YouTube or, or, or just go out and start recording what you're doing this is a simple one Get a phone holder, get these two pieces I just talked about, glue it together, pop it on your scope, zoom it in, and start recording. So you're going to be getting this along with the iPhone, and this is uh, number 15. Number 16 is going to be another hammer uh, scope. Uh, this one is going to come with the, uh, some with the sniper co scope mount, and these are in uh, dovetail. So. Uh, because this was on it actually was this gun this is made specially for a um, so if you have a springer this is made specially for a springer and uh, it's it, it can take it, it it's everything it's not gonna you can put on the most powerful springer as they told it's not gonna break but you can put on anything else but for a springer and of course it's got the objectives up front with five yards all the way out to infinity and that's uh and this one here has the lighted reticle, so you can turn the lighted reticle on whatever power you want. Uh, and you can you do that in red or green. And this is, again, I had it on, uh, I had this on my uh, Diana Model 34 for just a few minutes before I gave that to a friend. So, excellent condition, brand new practically. Number 16, hammer scope. Uh, and this is a single power, this is not a zoom. This is a single power. This is a six power scope. Okay. Okay, this is item number um, 17. This is the little GoPro-like thing. It's called an Escape HD5, if you want to try to look it up. Uh, but it comes with uh, this waterproof case. This thing actually pops up and comes out of this case. Um, just, this is a tripod and a handle. So you can actually set it up if you wanted to record uh, something at a, uh, if you got it on a bench rest or something. It also comes with this selfie stick, extendable circuit selfie stick. And you can mount it on a bicycle or motorcycle for when you're riding with this piece. And this, I'm not going to put it on my head, but this, is, this allows you to put this band around your head and as you ride, uh, with the GoPro, with the uh, little GoPro like thing on it, you, wherever you look, it looks be good for fishing or something like that, and you get the charger. So item number 17 is the Escape GoPro like little camera. Uh, I've already asked the company that donated these if I could keep one, and they said go ahead, Aaron. That's good. So I want to thank you guys for that. Uh, so don't get mad at me for taking one. <laughs> I did get three for you, uh, and they also gave me a book with all of the. Uh, different pellets in there talking about the grains and everything else there is about it so um, this is another thing that I give it some thought that I'm going to keep this so what you're going to be getting is uh, 4, 8, 12, 1200 rounds if you count the one that's in here 12, 13, 1203 rounds of Barracuda Hunter Extremes and I, everybody's talking about this new pellet that, that expands just want to show you this, this is, it's already been done there it is right there. It says here 165% hollow point expansion. And what they do, they mushroom out, if you can see that, it mushrooms out into four different layers because there's a hollow point with an X in it, as you can see right there, and that flares out. 
So that's why I wanted to try out against the ones I'm shooting now. And that's why I decided to keep a 10. But you're getting this item number 18. Barracuda Hunter Extremes. Okay, item number 19 is something that started it all. I've got the gun back up here to demonstrate this to you. If you look at the early videos that were done by Ted, when he finally got away from, uh, from shooting this thing, or maybe just before, I don't remember that, the sequence. But this was, the, this was the one that started it all. And uh, what it is, is the camera mounts back here. This mounts over your scope. If you go back and find some of his old videos, I think, I'm not sure if Matt ever had them, but a lot of people used them back in the day. This slides over here like this and tightens down onto your scope. And then you adjust the camera. Got a lot of adjustment here. You adjust the camera so it's looking down the barrel. You zoom in. And now, but with this new, because you see how far it extends back, you got to shoot this from your lap or from up here sticking the gun out ahead of you. Uh, but I'm just throwing this in. Nobody probably wants it because the thing is old. Uh, I don't know. This thing probably goes back six, seven years. But we'll put it in there as item number 19. Uh, this first scope cam. And this is the final item. Again, this item was uh, donated to me by a company that wants to remain anonymous. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but anyway, this is the giveaway. Two tens of 22 caliber. These are, uh, this is a thousand rounds, 500, 500, a thousand rounds. Uh, these are 14.6 grains pellets and they're field trophy, field target trophy. And uh, you get two of these tins uh, and that's item number 20. And that rounds out everything. So let's go and explain a little bit more about this. Okay. Well, you see that we have 20 prizes, but before I close this out and talk about the, the rules for winning one last time, I want to do a couple more things. As I said, you know, this is my 5,000, and to me, like I said, to a lot of people, that's probably not many, but to me, it's, it's wonderful. And I just wanted to get some more shout-outs before we close this thing out. So that's why I have my world map behind me. I, I started, people started to telling me where they were from, and that, this may have been going on for a while, and I might have missed it. So over the last few months, I've been tracking, you know, where people are from, if they say so, in terms of being outside the United States. And I was shocked. You know, I had, I had quite a number of people from the U.K. and from England, um, from the U.K., from northern Wales to, to Birmingham. Um, people from Canada contacted me, even Pakistan. Uh, my boy Curtis, who was always talking to me down in Trinidad. Good luck, Curtis. I'm getting you a PCP down there. Um, Brazil, Bulgaria, Northern Ireland, Argentina, Sweden. It's just amazing to me. So what I did, I bought a big map back here. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, putting their names on a, a pen and sticking them in there. Um, and just so I can go to this map every now and just say, hey, you know, I know someone there. They've, they've contacted me and we've, we've had conversation. So, you know, if there are other of you that are out there who have may have contacted me before I started tracking this, when you leave something in the comment, just say where you're at. I'm going to add you to my map back here. Um, because uh, that's, that's a special thing to me. It really is. And so, as I'm talking to you right now, I know you've been noticing that on the screen over here, these people have been popping up. I didn't want to destroy names. Some of the names are very easy. Some of the names are very, very difficult. Uh, and so I want to give these guys a shout out and, and, and encourage others to let me know where you are. Um, and uh, so I can get that uh that information posted up here because uh, as I do this celebration, I want to celebrate you. And, uh, and it's not to say that I'm I'm not paying any attention to the rest of you guys from the United around the United States to contact me and around Michigan where I am and other places uh, that I'm hearing from people that are uh, from Ohio to across to Lake Michigan. Um, I'm I'm really happy with all of it. It's just that I kind of expected that, but I, I didn't expect this these people from places around the world. Contacting me, the world is actually getting to be a smaller place. So a uh, shout out to you guys and that's why I have your names popping up here. The last thing I want to close with, but there are a lot of people out there who have been contacting me who have their own channel, channels, you know, and most of them have uh, very, very small channels and they did not tell me this. Whenever somebody had a name up there and it sounded like they might have a channel, I would immediately go and see what they had and try to watch as many of as I, much of as I could. 
And some of these guys uh, have uh, as few as 19 subscribers, some have more. And there's a few you'll see a pop up there that, that everybody know that stay in contact with me. Uh, you know, like my guy over there at uh, Air Guns Revolution. Uh, love his videos, especially the ones shooting the iguanas. So, anyway, I want to pop those names up. And as you can see, those are popping up there now, too, also, in terms of uh, people who have tapped channels out there. And if you know, if you, uh, and I'm just doing this because uh, I know how hard it was for me to get started. And, uh, and some of these guys got, got one or two videos, and some of these guys got, got several videos. And I, I, I think if you go there and you watch a couple of the videos, if they interest you, that'll encourage them to do more, and that'll get their numbers up to the point uh, where they can do more. And I just want to promote anybody out there that's doing anything in this, in this place and struggling a little bit. So pay attention to those names down there. If you have a chance, just go visit their page and just say, hey, how you doing? And I like your content or whatever. Okay? So with that, let's close it out. So again, uh, let's just say this just for clarification. You get to pick four items from the items that we just saw, um, and four only. And all I need on there is you is to put down your four numbers, put down your name. No, no, not your name, because your name is right there. Uh, put down the four numbers, and put down the city, the state, uh, and the country that you're from. Uh, that information, so I, I can look that up in order to uh, find out what the post is going to be and then I'm going to um, re respond to your comment uh, with the wins and then all you need to do is contact me and uh, we'll get in contact with each other, we'll figure that out and uh, get the item mailed to you as soon as I get the postage. I'm really sorry, we really wish I could have got a grant, you know, I was in a situation where I used to write a lot of grants for monies to foundations and stuff to cover different things, I wish I could write a grant to cover the postage for this. So we can just go ahead and mail it out, but I uh, just don't have that. So I'm asking you guys to help me with the postage, and of course uh, I'll be happy to send you what we what we win. And good luck to all of you guys. The way I'm going to draw this, let me see how it's going to be drawn. You guys are going to go ahead and you guys are going to send me a comment. I'm going to have my wife do this. I'm going to get on there, and you know you can hit, hit the comment section, and all those comments are going to pop up underneath the video. I'm just going to scroll down and have her touch one. She ain't gonna, she's not going to know whatever she touches. I'm going to read what the name is. I'm going to read what they wanted, write it down, go to the next one, go to the next one, go to the next one. We're going to do that for a while. And then I'm going to stop and find out who won, what, start to scratch those things off. And then the things that are left, we're going to go back and do it all over again until we get those things given away. So basically it's going to be uh, my wife putting her finger on the name as I scroll down and then back up again and down and back up again until they're all given away. And that's how we're going to do it. Okay? So... Good luck to you guys. I uh, hope you um, continue to watch. I hope you uh, 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 enjoy or like the things I've done. And I hope that uh, uh, those of you who are out there who, uh, who need some of the things that I have, uh, I really hope that you win those. So thank you very much. And uh, uh, let me just close and say, if you're doing real well and you can, all, you can afford all this stuff and it means nothing to you, uh, uh, don't, don't sign up for it. I really like to give it to somebody who could really use it. Okay? All right. Thank you guys, and as always, let's keep it safe.